and thanks for joining us for the Adopt a Pet Show. I'm Stacy, and this is Marissa. Hello. Hi, Marissa. And we have a couple of kitties coming on. Hi, guys. Oh, Buff. Her hands are freezing. That one is Buff, Buff. and this is Heidi. How's she doing? She's great. Oh, it's a baby. So these guys were brought in as um, oh, owner sweetheart. surrenders. Apparently okay. their owner was allergic. Uh, they are a bonded pair, so they do need to be adopted together. Uh, they're 13 years old. 13. They're Aww. so sweet. They look good for 13. They do look good. Um, so this is Buff, and that's Heidi. I think they're brother and sister. Hi. They do really they well look together. So mad. I know. <laughs> she always has a grumpy face. <laughs> Look how mad she looks. <laughs> uh, they need to be indoor only. They have had, we actually did blood work on them and a full dental. So they are good to go. Their blood work looks great, especially That's for great. their age. Yeah, you know, blood work uh, that can show a number of things with, with uh, senior animals like this. And, and, and that is a nice savings that you're getting adopting these, these two cats is because blood work can be very expensive at a regular vet, um, and so can a dental. So we actually took care of both of them for you. Yeah. So these guys need to be in your home by Thanksgiving <laughs> next to your nice cozy fire. Well, it is like 90 degrees out right now, and it's yeah. number 13. <laughs> oh, I've got some purring going. Yeah, they're really sweet. Even though she kind of has a grouchy look sometimes, she is a She's total not. love bug. She's so total sweet, love bug. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Probably um, an older or just a quieter household. I think little kids may be a little too much for these guys. Um, but they've never, I mean, they've never been mean to kids. I think kids just move a little too fast for these guys. Um, but they've got lots of years to, to go. And uh, they just need a nice home and a nice comfy bed to to sleep on. You know, it's always hard when animals are surrendered by their owners, you know, for, for whatever reason. Uh, and again, that's what we're here for. But it's really especially hard, I think, on, on the staff and the volunteers as well, seeing senior animals uh, turned in like this. Um, and I believe that they had them for 13 years and they became allergic. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, hey, that's possible. Um, but so it's so sad for the animals. And we just... We want to make sure they get a second chance at life, and these guys really, really deserve it. Yeah. You look so grouchy. You're not going <laughs> So, again, they uh, need to be adopted together, so if you're interested in two fabulous cats, come on down. They're already spayed and neutered and ready to go. Oh, the okay, babies. Bye, buddy. He's so good. <laughs> He's huge. He's a big boy. <laughs> He's a big boy. We have uh, lots of adult cats right now at the shelter, right? We do. We're slowing down on kittens. Lots of nice adults uh, that are looking for homes. And uh, we do have some kittens becoming available too, though, don't we? Yeah, we still got the kittens coming through probably for the next month or so. I think it hasn't slowed down that much. Hi! Miss Honey. Thanks. Hi. Hello, <laughs> lover. Oh, this vicious, vicious girl yeah. is Honey. And uh, we keep showing her over and over. You know, I, know. I was looking at her records today, and Honey's been here can, 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 <laughs> since April. Good. She's been yeah. here since April. I can't believe oh. that. I know. Oh, I know. okay. Come in my lap. Yes, yeah, sit up. So tell us about Honey, Marissa. So Honey was an owner surrender. They, the owners apparently were moving and couldn't take her with them. She is um, <laughs> almost two <laughs> years old. Got lots of love to give. Um, she's a really nice girl, active, great hiking, jogging partner. Um, she seems to do well with male dogs. Uh, we would not recommend cats or no cats. She does not like cats. Yeah, I think they move too quick for her. So um, well, she's it, got that terrier thing. That's pretty normal. Yeah. Yeah, the prey drives a little bit higher on them. Um, but super sweet, great with little kids. She goes on our hikes, um, and she Sundays, does yeah. really well. She is an all-around really, really nice personality. Uh, and she sometimes seems a little hyper, but she's oh, actually pretty you. easygoing. Yeah. She just likes to hang out. She likes to sleep by your feet. We have had her up at the front office a couple times in the morning where she just kind of chills and relaxes with us. She's a really, really nice dog. And she is not a big reactor, uh, which is nice with her. And I think that's another reason why she's been around so long is we have people that come through the kennels, you know, three, 400 people 
a day, strangers, and she doesn't react. She says hello to them. She doesn't bark. She doesn't jump up. She just kind of sits back and watches what's going on. And to me, that is a real a sign of a smart dog, yeah. an observant dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think she's going to make someone a really nice pet. Yeah. Huh. And she's young. She is. Yeah, she's such a good girl. Who's out there? Who is that? Who's out there, beautiful? <laughs> and yeah, it's another dog, just like Jet. We can't understand why she's still here. She's wonderful. Who's that? All right. Thanks, okay. Lori. Nope. That way. Honey. On, other honey. way. There you go. She's so sweet. I know. I love her. I know. She kind of reminds me of Babs who we had here forever, She does. Too. Yeah, she reminds me of Babs, too. Ah! Baldwin, <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. Okay. Oh, my God. You know, we're just, we do this. We, we <laughs> talk to them. Oh, we get them all excited. Oh, my God. Hi, baby. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Okay. Hi. Right, we're not going to do this again. <laughs> like Dan. Uh, like Dan last week. Come here. Honestly, we can't control them. Uh, this is Baldwin. He is a one-year-old Doberman uh, male. He came to us as a stray. Um, so we have no history. As you can tell, he uh, was obviously very well-loved and socialized. Um, he's got a ton of energy because he's a big puppy. Uh, he will be available on the 18th for adoption. Let's hold you still. Let's hold you still. He's so puppy like. Oh my yeah. gosh. You're gonna need. <laughs> you're gonna need a yard. No apartments. <laughs> clearly. Apartments. Yeah. You're you're gonna need some space for him, and you're also gonna need the time that it's gonna take to train him. And uh, I know he's a beautiful dog, and he's a purebred dog, and <laughs> but you know, it's important that you have a well-behaved dog, especially when they're this size. You know, you want to be responsible in public with a dog like this. So you want to make sure that you have the time and energy to spend with him. <laughs> Some oh, training will do him good. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. So when's he available, Marissa? He'll be available um, on the 18th. So if you're interested, come on down. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, you're a big dummy. So, yes, no apartments. Dummy. A house with a yard, somebody real active. Yeah. A great hiking partner again. He probably wouldn't Anything be a good senior for senior. No. <laughs> he is really strong. He's actually one of the strongest dogs I've ever brought on the show. Yeah. He's not stronger than Dan. <laughs> um, you know, he's going to get bigger. He's not full grown. No, yeah. We have him down as a year, but I was looking at his teeth. He probably looks like he's about eight or nine months old. Yeah. So he's going to get bigger, folks. He's going to fill oh out. He's probably actually going to gonna get a little bit taller. Come here, come here, come here. Baldwin, sit still for a minute. <laughs> Baldwin. So, yeah, so if you're interested, <laughs> be here on that date when we open. And uh, yeah, and hopefully we can find him a good home. <laughs> ready? Okay. Go ready, Monique? Okay. You ready, Monique? All right, go walk, Monique. Come on. He is gonna get bigger, because look at, okay. <laughs> he He's hasn't even thin. grown into his legs yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were all watching. Uh, we, hi, Tamale. Don't pee on me, okay? <laughs> so this is Tamale. Um, Tamale came in with a little female dog. What's her name? I forget her name. Uh, a little terrier. They came in together. She, I believe, is up for adoption as well. He's about two years old. He Was, was it found Sparkle? Yes, Sparkle. Sparkle and Tamale came in together. Um, he's a Chihuahua. She is a like terrier mix. Uh, he is about two years old. He's available now. Boy. He does great with other dogs. They've had other roommates What's and they do here? fabulous. What's in here? Um, he's a little shy, can be a little Hi. quiet, but super, super sweet. Talk about He's a funny because when you're love. back there with him, he's active and he yeah. you know jumps up on you and very sweet. Right now he just kind of shut down. Yeah, so he can, I think, though, once he's comfortable in a home, he's going to be just a happy little loving boy. He's so cute. He looks like a little opossum. <laughs> he has little, um, like, brown dots. Like, he's kind of dapple in there. Yeah, he is a little dapple. You're right. So what do we think, like, chihuahua dachshund, maybe? Sure, yeah, because he's got that long nose. I say chihuahua opossum. Yeah, there you chihuahua go. Chihuahua opossum. Chihuahua and Burbank opossum. <laughs> Oh. A little bit of and he's really, really quiet for a small dog. I don't think I've ever heard him bark. Really? Him and Sparkle are super Until quiet. Until you get him home yeah. and you quote us on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here he hasn't been. <laughs> he would do good in an apartment, house, um, condo. He's, he's really, 
He's a great all-around dog. Mm, nice little dog. Maybe just a little housebreaking. Mm. And you can change his name too. We just he named him Tamale, tamale because he looked like a little tamale. Oh, he's so sweet. Look like a little corn husk. And you know, you could tell he's been held a lot because he like molds really? into your body. Like, look, look at that. Look at he that. He totally molds into you. Molds into that. Look at that. He wants to be somebody's carrying all all over the place. Oh, you need a purse. Oh. <laughs> look at him. He's giving the look like, oh no. <laughs> So yeah, so if you're uh, interested in little tamale here, come on down. He is available now. Okay. Thank you, David. Oh, he's so sweet. Okay. I did this again. The big dog, little dog, big dog, little dog. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's aerobics. Hi. And who is this? Maple. Hi. Hi. She knows you. Hi, Missy. Because I give you the food and you're allowed. Can you look at Walter? Can you look at Walter? So this oh, yeah. sweet girl, uh, we think she's a lab. Chesapeake. I think she's got mix. I think she's got Chesapeake in yeah. because Hi. of her curls back here. Um, I don't think she's like one of those full big chocolate labs, but yeah. that Chesapeake, they're a little sleeker, they're a little sportier. They're the swimming ones. And you can kind of tell she's got that wave. So yeah. Yeah, she does have the wave. Hello. So she was found Hello. stray. Um, she appears to be Hi. young. We don't I don't think we have an age yet. Can I see What do we think? Can I see you're probably about a year and a half. Yeah. She's a, so a year and a half, so she's full grown, nice size, little petite girl. Um, she will be available on the 17th. We're holding her as a stray. Hold for now to see if an owner comes uh, for her. If not, she will be available for adoption. She's $104. That'll include her spay, microchip, and vaccines. Um, labs are just great dogs, and she's, she's your dog. ideal. She's a nice dog. dog. She's very sweet. Yeah. Who is it? She kind of pees when she gets excited, but you know, that's okay. That she'll get over that. She's that's fifth on command. <laughs> she's smart. Someone worked with her and someone yeah. cared for her. And again, that's what's so surprising to us when dogs like this come in that were obviously well cared for and have some training and were clean that no one has come to claim them. And it makes us wonder, you know, like, you know, if they were actually found in Burbank or outside of Burbank. And it, it scares me because I would hate to think that somebody couldn't find their pet. Exactly, yeah. What are you smelling? You're, we can't even see you so back there. Maybe the look, owner's out of town at, or something at, and hasn't, at, doesn't know at, that she's gone yet. <laughs> look at her belly. Look oh, at her belly. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, you're so cute. But uh, beautiful. And like, look, that just goes to prove right there. You can find all kinds of labs and things in animal shelters. You just have to keep looking and be patient. Yep, a lot of purebreds end up in shelters. You ready? Want to go, Floyd? <laughs> come on. Hey. Come on, come here. Come on, girls. Look, Go on. Bye. Go for a walk. Bye, baby. Go on. I'll see you later. I'll give you food later. Oh, now you don't want to go. <laughs> She's like, come that's on. a lady that feeds me. Go on. Come on, baby. Go on. Go. There you go. She's so cute. Aw. Oh, my gosh. She's even melting Peter's heart over there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take this little one? All right. Hi. Hi. Come here. Come here. Hey. So this is Clarence, I guess we named him. Tiffany Victor, our volunteer named him Clarence, Aww. yeah. <laughs> it's okay, don't shake. <laughs> so this little guy was, again, another Aww. stray. Um, he's young, I think he's a puppy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chihuahua Dachshund mix. Hi. He will be available on the 15th for adoption. Um, he is great with other dogs. He's got. He has other, a roommate, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got roommates and does really Hi. good. Um, he's Here's been really, really sweet. Here's the tail. Hi. He shakes like a leaf, but he's super oh, sweet. So cute. You know, I picked him for the show this morning because he was all over the kennel and wanted to come out and wanted to say hi and was very enthusiastic and very active, and uh, he was so nice. And yeah. I thought you're perfect. You're absolutely perfect. Look at look at that that snout right there. Like the look. Mm. That's definitely like yeah. the whole dash hound profile right yeah. there. Yeah. They're totally dogs in. We have you. so many little small dogs right now that are nice. A lot of Chihuahua, Chihuahua mixes, dachshunds. We get them all. We do get them all. A lot of min pin mixes that we get here too. Yeah. So when's this dog available? So he'll be available on the 15th um, at $104 to adopt. That'll get him neutered, microchipped, and vaccinated. That's a great deal. Yeah, great deal. That is a definitely a great deal. You know, we also have uh, we have lots of little dogs here. We have lots of big dogs. We have some puppies that we're going to show you next week. Um, yeah, please come down. We've got bunnies. We've got all kinds of things. And right now, that was our last dog. So we're going to go ahead and go to Monique for the tip of the day. 
It is almost that time again for Thanksgiving. I just wanted to make sure on that day that you devote special playtime to your dog and cat before company arrives. Despite your busy schedule, keep your pets on their normal routine for meals, bathroom, and bathroom breaks. Doorbells tend to agitate some dogs, so put a sign out for company to knock instead. And when guests arrive, kindly ask them not to feed your animals and be sure that they close the doors and gates behind them. Remind young young children not to feed your animals because sometimes they can can tend to get a tendency to do that and then make sure all your id tags are easily read and your your pets are microchipped just in case they pull a houdini act and escape so just paying a little extra attention to details you and your pet can have a happy holiday season and if you're looking for a kitten come join us for our kitten fair this saturday uh, november 16th and also december 7th from 10 a.m to 3 p.m happy thanksgiving and have and have a great day those are all great tips. You know, it's so important that you are not only aware of your family and your friends that are there at your house during holidays or celebrations, that you're aware of your dog's needs too, or your cat's needs, or your guinea pig's needs. <laughs> but you know, it's important because that entire scene affects your animals so much. I don't think people realize that. They think they're okay, but you know, they have to be aware of, you know, what's being fed to them, uh, who's at the door, and the potentials for danger and uh, the potentials for your animal to get out and be nervous. So, yeah, yeah they're part of our family, yeah. you know. Uh, and that's it. And Marissa, thank you so much. It was lovely having you today. Thank you for having me. And thank you. And remember, come down here, look at our animals, and when you adopt a pet, you adopt a friend. <laughs>